Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. The video series about the M1A2 Abrams tank here will have two parts. In this video, I will show you what's inside this tank, and I also upgraded its movement system to be more stable and better. In the next video, I will upgrade the firepower system for my tank. If you have any comments, please comment and let me know. And please, press the like and subscribe button to support the channel if you find the videos interesting and of good quality. Thanks for everything, now let's get started. First, disassemble all connections between the turret and the body. The turret part of the tank I will mention in the next video. Here we will focus on the body of the tank. In the center there will be an unlimited rotation system. Helps the turret rotate freely without twisting the signal wire. Remove the kidney cover and we will see the entire system inside the tank body. Includes main control board using Arduino Nano. PWM Module PCA 9685 Wireless Module NRF 24L01 and Sound Driver Voltage Lowering System for Servo 12 volts 20 AH battery and two motor drivers The motor used here is a 775 brushed motor Has a rotation speed of 15,000 revolutions per minute Along with that is a deceleration system with a ratio of 70 over 1 Gives an output speed of about 215 revolutions per minute the main control board was developed by myself. It uses Arduino Nano microcontroller, combined with NRF24L01 module, MP3 module, and PCA9685 module. Maximum input voltage is 12 volts. There are still a few points I'm not satisfied with. Maybe I'll upgrade it in the next video. And this is the BTS7960 motor control module with a maximum load current of 43A. I have collapsed the two modules together and integrated a radiator fan to help save space inside to add more modules for upcoming projects. The large frame needs to be small to suit the 3D printing process. To connect them together, I used a small frame and M3 screws to attach them. Due to not being able to find a suitable spring, I used rubber bands instead of springs. It works quite well and most importantly, the price is very cheap. The downside is that you need to replace them after a period of use, because the elastic band will stretch and no longer achieve the same effect as before. In my case, it was about three months per use. So it's not a big problem to use rubber bands instead of metal springs. The load-bearing system part includes the load-bearing wheel and the load-bearing shaft. The blue load-bearing wheel is printed with PLA filament. The black part is printed with TPU filament. All connections use M3 screws. The problem to be solved today is the drive system. Output drive shaft is too small. When subjected to high torque, the shaft becomes dirty, creating inaccuracy during movement and increasing the possibility of cracking the system. So I need to replace it with a bigger one.
All edits are completed and working fine. How do you feel about this edit? Please comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.